I will say that October and November is going to be the months that we will forever remember. Holy cow, we overextended ourselves. So it is a rainy day today, and that means that I'm not gonna be able to film a whole lot. I do wanna share with you what I finally got up, which is our October and November expense reports. The link will be down below. I do have to say that this is the reason why it took so long for me to get this done is it was crazy, terrifying, and scary with how much money we spent. L insane. I think we spent like $30,000 on just building this house in two months. <laughs> and then there's also other expenses about being moving back and forth and still going out to eat a whole lot because we were traveling crazy and having two storage units. It was just nuts. Things like our septic and you know spending $8,000 on our front and back deck. It, here's the thing. Go look, go get the report down below. It is, uh, you will learn a whole lot. It will give you a lot of good information. Uh, if you want to do something like this and converting a shed to house, I will say that October and November is going to be the months that we will forever remember. Holy cow, we overextended ourselves. Just being honest, you can do this a whole lot cheaper you can do this cheaper by doing the work yourself, but it's gonna take a lot longer to, to do it, and you're gonna have to learn a new skill. So for us, having four kids and not living in the same place, we needed a home. So what I've realized after October and November and all how expensive this was that this is the first time that I really clicked to the fact that I want to be a homesteader like this, you know, I want to be a homesteader and having my garden out there and having my chickens with maybe a chick shaw or a chicken coop that works our garden area. And then I want to have pigs over here that are over here in our forested area and clearing this spot and just doing, just being the pigness and all the things that pigs can do. And I want to have fruit trees everywhere. That's what I want. I want to be a homesteader that provides for his family from his land. I don't necessarily want to be a home builder. Don't want to be a home builder. It's fun, I'm learning some good stuff, but it's still realizing that it's tough. So in here you'll see how much our septic tank costs, which is like, you know, seven or $8,000. You'll see how much the shiplap actually costs, which was thousands of dollars. You'll see the deck, the most expensive thing. Also, the best thing that we did was our front and back deck, but still it was very expensive. Oh, but I, in terms of the deck, the one cool thing is today, we're gonna get some things picked up. This is some extra lumber. So. But hopefully some of that leftover lumber will maybe may be able to get like four or five hundred dollars. What else is in that report? We just ate, we went out to eat a whole lot and that's just something you have to do when you don't have a house because you don't have a place to cook. Oh, we bought our appliances on this one and we bought our kitchen. And it made me realize, and it made me realize why people actually get a mortgage and it made me think <laughs> for probably a good week man should I just try to go borrow some money because all the money that we had from our suburban house sale it's gone we knew that that was going to happen we talked about that that was going to happen but I just had it in my mind back in my mind that oh no we can totally do this cheaper we can totally do this for fifty thousand dollars for us that did not happen so what is the silver lining off of this report that you're going to see is that 
we now have a home that we are very comfortable in. We now have a home that took us from what Kelly would say that we're gonna be in here. This is a transitional home for two to three years. We are now in a home that Kelly and I are saying, hey, we could be here for seven to 10 years, totally. It, it, we have a home that, that we actually are comfy and cozy sleeping up in our kids' sleeping loss because it's so comfortable up there. We'll see what it's gonna be like in the summer, but it is so nice. We have all of this amazing heat and AC system. It is just wonderful. It is so good. It is so great. Uh, we love this home. And most of the bulk of the expenses we've already purchased and we don't have to repurchase those things ever again. And we don't have to pay interest on it and just, you know, live our and just sell our life away for a 30 year slavery mortgage. And of course, the best thing about the silver lining with this being is that the bulk of these big expenses are done. If we ever needed to move and sell this place, it would all be profit. In a couple of months, I'm gonna have our realtor give us a, a realistic number for what we could sell our property and our house for. And then that lets us know that if we ever needed to move, if we ever had an exit strategy, we could get out and get a bulk of this money, like the septic system. Someone's gonna have to pay for that entire amount back, maybe even more, because costs for septic systems are going up, maybe like $500 a year. So we will have a mortgage-free home by the end of this, and we will be able to work, make all of our income here from our house with our doTERRA income, and with our YouTube. With doTERRA, that is the bulk of our income, so we are able to really just live modestly and always be together and work, you know, 30 hour work weeks uh, between the both of us. Here, laundry list of stuff, let me see. Uh, we spent about $1,000 on appliances. Uh, we spent, jeez, uh, we spent probably like almost 10 grand on our deck 1300 for a bathroom we have paint expenses we have other bathroom expenses we had to install our mini split system so you'll see how much we chart we got charged for installing the mini split systems uh we have you know plumbing costs you know we had to hire out our plumbing so it's for us locally here in central texas hiring someone local in our small town i i have the labor costs for doing that lodging you know like if you're doing something like we did you know i had to spend 150 dollars in october for lodging uh the shiplap ceiling i have the cost of that the good thing is we should be able to return some of that to where that will lower the cost hopefully the deck was huge the septic was the biggest the septic and the deck those were huge good thing is we now have a standard conventional septic system that we don't have to pay a monthly fee for our kitchen our laundry room, so much of these things in this. Go get the report. Okay, it's a rainy day. I'm gonna go help Kelly with the kids with homeschool. Finley's right here. Chip's over there. Chip hates the rain. And also, Chip does not want to go downstairs. Let me, ooh, he's kind of doing it. He's kind of doing it. You're down, oh, you, you did it, buddy. Good job, you went down one stair. Keep going. Let me know in the comments below, how do you get a dog to go down the stairs? All right, so we're done. This is our wood pallet compost bin. We're finally composters again. I'm excited. You excited, Ollie? No. Are you excited, Ollie? I'm excited about we're gonna live on our land. Okay.